So here is model 2 from this topic of cubes. And like I said, in this case we will find that a cube is painted with different colors on different faces and then it is cut into a number of pieces. Let's look at the question. It says there is a cube in which one pair of opposite faces is painted red, a second pair of opposite faces is painted blue and a third pair of opposite faces is painted green. Alright, so like what do you see here? Six surfaces or six faces. One opposite, one pair of opposite faces is painted blue, one pair is painted green and one pair is painted red. Now which pair of opposite faces is painted red, which pair of opposite faces is painted green does not matter because you see it will be identical. Whichever way you do it, it all looks to be same, right? Uh, after, I mean, finally, when you uh, done with the painting, it will appear to be same. However, you paint it. The only point is, opposite faces are painted in same color. So one of, pair of opposite faces in red, the other pair in blue, and the third pair in green. Now, this cube is cut into two sixteen smaller but identical cubes. So this is now cut into two sixteen smaller but identical cubes. Now, by now, you should know what's the value of n. It is six because. 216 is equal to 6 cube. So we can say here n is equal to 6. So the number of cuts will be 5. 5 cuts means it will be giving us 6 portions. Now there are different questions out here. We have the first two questions on the board. The first one says how many small cubes are there with no red paint at all. Now if you have got the logic here, we have a cube. Right? Let's say, let's, let's put a 3D view of it and then see what happens. Right? So, if you observe front face, back face, left face, right face, bottom face and top face. Now, one pair of opposite faces is painted red. Let us assume the front face and the back face are painted red. The other pair is painted blue. So, right and left are painted blue. And then, on one, the third pair is painted green. So, bottom and top are painted green. Alright. Now, what do we want here? Total 16, 216 cubes. Right? You know that 216 cubes will be there when you divide each axis into 6 portions there. Now, how many small cubes are there with no red paint at all? How many small cubes are there with no red paint at all? You don't want red paint to be there on the smaller cubes. See, what are the red paint faces? The front face and the bottom, uh, back face. The front and the back face. Which means, out of all these 216 cubes, you have made a number of cuts there, you have got 216 cubes. If I remove the front face, all the cubes from the front face and all the cubes from the uh, back face, red painted faces are gone. There won't be any other face which is left with red paint. Only the front face and the back face is painted red. So let us remove that. Are you able to follow? Remaining all can be considered. The question says, this should not be red paint. So I will remove red painted faces. Right? Now understand, there are 216 cubes. On each face, how many cubes will be there? 36. Because it is like this, right? 6 into 6 into 6. 6 into 6 into 6, 216 cubes. But each face will have 6 by 6, 36 cubes. Now you are removing the front face and the back face, both the red painted face, which, which whether it is front or back, left or right, bottom or top, does not matter. So 36 cubes per face, how many faces are being removed? Two faces. So 36 into 2, 72 have to be removed from 216. So the answer for this first question will be, total there are 216 cubes, out of which I will remove 36 into 2. On each face there are 36, I am removing two faces where there are red paints. So 36 into 2, 72, 216 minus 72 will be 144. So the answer for question number 1 here will be option to 144. Likewise, it may say no blue paint. So remove blue paints. No green paint. Remove those two faces. As, as simple as that. Now, how many small cubes are there without any face painted? Now, without any face painted is what is inside the larger cube. So you have to go one level inside. That means n minus 2 whole cube. What is n in our case? 6. So the answer for this one will be 6 minus 2 whole cube. What is 6 minus 2? 4. 4 cube is 64. So the answer for question 2 will be option 3, 64. So good that many of you have got the right answers, 144 and 64, but all those who have got it wrong, I think some of you say for question number 1, the answer should be 36. And now I see Ravi Kumar saying first one should be 72. See, the answer for first one will be 72, he is asking how many cubes have red paint. Then it will be 72. But the question is how many cubes have no red paint. So total minus 72, 216 minus 72, 144. So that's about the first two questions. Let us now look at uh, the remaining questions for the same uh, data here, right? Question number three. How many small cubes are there with at least two different colors on their faces? How many small cubes are there with at least two different colors on the faces? First of all, at least two. Means what? It should be two or three colors, right? It can have two different colors or three different colors. Now understand, 
the point is here in this case the opposite pair uh, the op pair of opposite faces is painted in same color right so let's say the front and back are in red right and left are in green bottom and top are in blue now at least two means it can be two or three right at least two implies it is two and three both right two different colors and three different colors obviously each of the corners will have three different colors right there each of the corners will have three different colors because see if you look at this corner the front is red this side is green and the top is blue so red green blue you take any corner you find that it is a combination of three different faces coming from three different axes so obviously three different colors so how many such corners eight corners so one is that there will be eight cubes eight small cubes with three different colors so three is over now we need to look at two how many small cubes are there with at least two different colors again two different colors you know that when you want two faces to be painted two different colors means two faces are to be painted right two faces painted cubes exist on the edges right on each edge how many cubes will be there with two faces painted see total there are six from six we need to remove the corners so six minus two four on each edge there are four how many such uh, edges are there four into twelve forty eight are you able to count on each edge there will be four cubes six right six we subtract the corners Generally, how do you do? Two faces painted. Instead of saying two faces painted, he's saying two faces painted with different colors. Obviously, the two faces painted will have different colors because opposite faces are painted in same colors. Adjacent faces will be painted in different colors. Are you able to follow? Each edge is made up of two adjacent faces intersecting at that line. Now, two adjacent faces are in different colors. So, those edge faces, edge cubes, will have two different colors on their faces. So, the point is, on each edge, we'll have four such cubes. Corners should not be Included because corners anyway we have considered in eight. Four into twelve. Four into twelve. So four into twelve, forty-eight. Forty-eight plus eight, fifty-six. Answer is option one. All right. Look at the next one. How many small cubes are there with only red and green on the faces? How many small cubes are there with only red and green on the faces? With only red and green. Blue should not be there. With only red and green on the faces. Now see, red and green means what? Two faces painted. Are you able to follow? Red and green. One face should have red, the other face should have green. Right? The two faces that whichever we consider. Two different colors. Now two faces painted exist on what? On the edges. Now the point here is, how many such edges will be there? We cannot take all the 12 edges. Because if you consider all the 12 edges, some of this, those edges will also have blue in that. Yes or no? Edges are made up of two faces intersecting at a line. Right? Now two faces intersecting can be blue green, blue red or red green. What we want is only red and green. See, if you understand, there are total 12 faces. How do you distribute these 12 faces? If you, let's say, uh, let's, let's consider 12 faces here, right? Oh, sorry, 12 edges. There are total 12 edges. Now, out of these 12 edges, 4 will have red and blue, 4 will have red and green, and 4 will have uh, blue and green. 4 edges are combinations of blue and red, 4 edges are combinations of uh, green and red, Four edges are combinations of blue and green. Total 12 edges. Now what we want? How many small cubes are there with only red and green? We don't want blue to be there. If you don't want blue to be there, these have to be subtracted. Are you able to follow? Edges which have got blue have to be subtracted. So only four edges are left out. Four edges which have red and green along with that. If you want to visualize in terms of figure, right? If you don't want to do all this, understand. We have assumed that front and back are red, left and right are green, top and bottom are blue. Now top and bottom are blue means what? This edge will have blue on it. This edge will have blue on it, this edge will have blue, and this edge will also have blue. Also, these edges will have blue. All the top four edges will have blue, but we don't want that. All the bottom four edges will have blue, we don't want that. Only this lateral edges will not have blue. Yes or no? This edge will be a combination of red with green. This will be a combination of green and backside red. This edge will be a combination of green on this side, red on back side. This edge will be a combination of green on uh, right side and uh, red on front. So there are only total four such edges. And on each edge, how many cubes will be there? N minus 2. Yes or no? When you are looking at edge, it is N minus 2. So N minus 2 into 4 edges. Generally, we say N minus 2 into 12 edges. But here, one of the colors should not be available. Only the remaining two have to be available. So we'll say N minus 2 into 4. What is N minus 2 into 4? N is equal to 6. 6 minus 2, 4 into 4. 4, 4 into 4, 16. The answer for question number 4 has to be option 1. So the first question is 56, and the second one, or the third question is 56. And the fourth one here is 16. So like you see, there is no standard formula which can give you answers for any question, every question here, right? Unless 
all of them are painted in same color. If all of them are painted in same color, you can just substitute the value of any in those formats and get the answer. But here you have to kind of analyze. You have to have that uh, visualization capacity. Otherwise, it becomes difficult. So just try to visualize the figure, understand what edges have to be considered, what corners have to be considered, what faces have to be considered, and accordingly answer the given questions. There's one more uh, question with this data here. So question number five from model two. What does the question say? How many small cubes show only green or only blue on their faces? So you should have only green or only blue. Now the point here is only green, only one color, only one color, only green or only blue. How many cubes will have or what cubes will have only one of their faces painted? The cubes which are on the surfaces, excluding the corners there, excluding the edges there, right? So if you look at the front face, right? Let's say if you take the front face, it will have 6 by 6, 36 cubes, right? I mean, whatever it is, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and again, right? So there are total 36 cubes on each face. Now we want only those cubes which show green or blue. It should not be anything else. Only green or only blue. Now let's take the front face. Front face anyway is red. We have considered red so far. So front and back are gone. We need to only look at those faces which have got uh, green or blue. So let's consider top and bottom and uh, right and left. Now any face you take, let's say top face is this, where you have different colors. Now you know that top face is painted blue. If top face is painted blue, all these are painted blue. But then I want only blue. Only blue means what? I should exclude these corner faces. You understand? It is like only one face painted. Only one face painted is what? n minus 2 whole square. Right? This surface or this face has got n square cubes. I should take n minus 2 whole square cubes because the corner ones have got the other faces also painted. Right? If you look at all these cubes here, right? They are painted with blue and also because they are the corner ones, they are the edges, the other sides are also painted. I don't want that. I want only the middle ones, which is n minus 2 square. n minus 2 square. What is n in our case? 6. So 6 minus 2 whole square, which is equal to 6 minus 2, 4, 4 square, 16. But the question that arises is, how many such faces should I consider? 4 faces. Because we want only green or only blue. So only green, there are 2 faces. Green, 2 faces and blue, 2 faces. On each face, I will have 6 minus 2 whole square such cubes. So 16 into 4 faces. 16 into 4. How much is that? 64. So the correct answer for this question number 4 here, will be 64. It should have only green or only blue. So the idea is that even if it is like different faces painted with different colors, you need to go by the same logic. Two faces are painted or three faces are painted or one faces are painted. Right? If it says three different faces are painted with different colors, so three faces have to be painted, corner ones. If it says each cube should have two faces painted in two different colors, so the ones on edges, only one face painted on the surfaces, middle ones again, right? like in question number five. So this is how you can answer this question, right? Just remember the basic formula that we have discussed, right? All the three faces or three different uh, faces painted, corners, which is 8. Two faces painted, edges, which is n minus 2 into 12, because there are 12 edges. One face painted, faces, the surfaces, which is n minus 2, square. n minus 2 square into 6, because there are 6 faces. And no face pa uh, painted, the uh, inside ones, which is n minus 2, whole cube, right? So going by the same logic, you can answer questions based on colors as well, different faces painted with different colors. To make the questions even more complicated, sometimes what they can do, they will say two faces, uh, one pair of opposite faces is painted in blue, the other pair of opposite faces is painted in green, and one pair of opposite faces is not painted at all. And then they will ask different questions. Now one simple logic of answering such questions is, those two faces which are not painted, let us consider that also as one color, not painted, let's say blank, blank is one color, so two faces are painted with blank colors, two faces are painted in red colors and the other two opposite faces are painted in blue colors. Now again different questions can be asked. Just go by the same logic. Instead of the third color, we have a blank color. Going by that, we can easily answer the questions. And then there can be a model where they say adjacent faces are painted in same colors. What we have discussed here is opposite faces are painted in same color. Sometimes we will say, you know, adjacent faces are painted in same color. So two adjacent faces are painted in blue, the other two in green and the third pair of adjacent faces in red. And then different types of questions are Again, there is no direct formula to answer. It's all about visualization and then finding out what the required answer is. So you must be able to understand what faces have to be removed or what edges have to be removed or what corners have to be removed based on the type of question. So that's all from this topic of uh, cubes with two different models that we have covered. And I'm sure with the help of the question that we have solved so far, you'll be able to answer the other types of questions as well. Right? So practice is the key. The more you practice, the easier it becomes. It will be easy for you to visualize. Right? Like I said, 
this is an important part of space visualization. So keep practicing and uh, we will meet in the next session with the next topic.